Namaste, I am Ashwini Jayachandran from the Department of Computational Biology and Bioinformatics, University of Kerala. A for apple. That's what we learned in our kindergarten classes, right? Later on, we started hearing it as yes for apple. I was talking about Steve Jobs' apple. And nowadays, you hear it is W for apple. The apple that are available in the market are nowadays coated with wax. We hear about wax coated apples on one side, crops affected with pesticides on the other side, water getting contaminated, air getting polluted. Wouldn't it be so nice if we humans could sense all these? But at times, machines are more intelligent than us, right? They could sense this. I was talking about the sensors, the devices that can detect any physical or chemical parameters from its environment. And when such sensors are integrated with a biological element, you call it as a biosensor, our topic of interest. So a biosensor consists of three main parts. First one, the biological element. A biological element may be an enzyme, a nucleic acid, or even a microorganism. What is an enzyme? What does it do? An enzyme is a biological catalyst. It does the same process as that of a catalyst. It accelerates or decelerates a reaction without directly involving in that reaction. And then comes the nucleic acid. It may be an RNA or a DNA, the basic building block of life. And next comes the second part of the biosensor, the transducer. The process of converting one form of energy to another, you call it as transduction. It may be an electrochemical one involving some chemical reaction which releases some electrons or an optical one which converts optical signals to electronic signals. And then comes the third part of the biosensor, the output or the electronics part consisting of the signal processing and the display. A pregnancy dictation kit that is available in the market is a typical example of a biosensor. A glucometer is an example of a biosensor. How does it work? Suppose that you want to test the glucose level in the blood of your grandmother at your home. A glucometer can help you. You just have to do a small hand prick. You'll get the blood, take the test strip, place the blood at one end of the test strip, insert the other end to a glucometer. So it's very easy that you can just get the glucose level in a display. You can see that. What happens actually? The glucose level in the blood converts it into glucuronic acid in the presence of the enzyme in the test strip, which releases some electrons. This moves to the transduction unit, signal processing, and finally to the output. So, if your grandmother does not have the habit of stealing pudding and desserts from the kitchen, she will be having a very normal glucose level. So, this is what biosensors does. It's portable. It's easy to use. It's handy. So, next time when you go and buy fruits and vegetables, neither the apples nor the carrots can cheat you if you have a biosensor. Thank you.